Get moving! <laughs> Enemy was <with> what? <laughs> Drop it. Enemy was <with> what? <laughs> Got it. Hey guys, how's it going? Tracy once again. Welcome to another Black Ops 2 commentary. I was just fiddling around here with the KSG with the uh, millimeter sight, quick draw, and a long barrel. I just got this, you know, tonight, which is, well, technically. Tuesday morning when you're seeing this. I got this a couple of hours ago. Doing this at 4 a.m. So yeah. I this is only 30 for 5. I don't think I really had another gameplay stored or not. I'm not really sure actually. I should have probably checked that first, but yeah, so it's nothing really exciting. I can't be too fussed with what the gameplay is. If you guys don't want to watch it, you don't have to. I hit some pretty funny shit and I was gonna use to there was like two clips in here I could have used for like an intro like I just did then with the Nuketown clip, but yeah. Anyway, on to the topic which is 4K resolution gaming. So this interests me a fair bit simply because the way they developed the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 was more of an entertainment system over graphics. So they really half-assed it and the technology in it is already about five years old and it struggles to play native 1080p at 60fps. All of a sudden now, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but last week or the week before, Intel released their 5000 series of CPUs and they are a lot more powerful than the 4000. A lot more powerful than the 4000. And they also released DDR4 RAM, which is a lot faster. It's about one and a half times sufficient as DDR3 RAM, and that's why it's so expensive. It's about 600 bucks for 16 gig, I think it is. But yeah, it's a lot faster, a lot more efficient, you know, a lot better for media users. But the problem I have with this is, why are they, like, if you actually go on to any computer part site they are promoting 4k gaming so there's 4k resolution screens which can't even um, handle over 60 fps re uh, 60 hertz refresh rate at the moment so that's very half assed at the moment um, you know to play on 4k resolution you need something like a titan z which is a three thousand to four thousand dollar graphics card you can play it on the 780 Ti, it just won't be very efficient. And the thing is, when you start turning up the resolution, like you have to start turning down other things, so texture details and things like that, because you want, you know, 4K worth of pixels there on your screen. You know, you, you have to make sacrifices, so I'm unsure why they are pushing so much for 4K resolution gaming if, you know, nothing else is set up for it. So. If you haven't noticed, a lot of the parts have been pushing for it lately. Um, you know, the monitors that I've seen them on Facebook all the time, you know, graphics cards, things like that. The raw power that they're trying for us to possess, like, um, you know, but game developers are still developing for the console. Like, not many developers, you know, actually develop for PC. They usually develop for, say, generally the Xbox at the moment, unless it's PS4 exclusive or something like that, but generally the Xbox, then it is ported straight over to the PlayStation with the pretty much the exact same graphical settings as that, other than the PlayStation 4 has DDR5 RAM and the Xbox uh, One has DDR3 RAM, so it's going to struggle playing at 60 FPS. I think most modern games now will be playing at 30 FPS on the Xbox One, but that's a different topic altogether. So they're promoting, you know, that ten, only 1080p, and uh, I don't even think it's native 1080p, I think it's upscaled, so I think it's 720p with stretched out pixels, if I can remember rightly. So they've made these consoles that are very half fast and you know you have to put up these consoles for five to eight years just like the old ones but yet for some reason they're trying to make PC players and things like that go to 4k resolution and what company is actually coding for that other than having to spend I would say well if the graphics card say I have a Titan Z graphics card I think is three thousand dollars I then would need the X99 motherboard to host the DDR4 RAM. DDR4 RAM is about $600. Uh, the motherboard's around $500. And the CPU itself, I think, is somewhere around 1000 So, 
what's that? The save for a monitor as well. So, so that's six grand. Six grand for this 4K resolution system. And no company is actually coding for it because they still code for console. So I can't understand this big shift towards 4K resolution. Like they are really pushing it, like on TVs and. Um, I don't see why they're really pushing it on TVs because you would actually. Most TV shows would have to be recorded with a 4K resolution camera, which a lot of them aren't even recorded with a 1080p camera. Like you watch Everybody Loves Raymond, that's in actually in, I think it's 560 or 720p, and they have upscaled that dramatically to work on a high definition TV, if you guys didn't know. But um, yeah, so for some reason they're pushing us towards 4K, but there's no purpose for it. Like, they keep pushing out all these new computer parts all the time, but it's consoles that they're coding for. I don't really understand what they're going for here. They, are they trying to make PCs look that expensive that no one wants them, or are they trying to make PCs look more appealing? But the problem is you start playing with 4K resolution, you know, you've got to tone down some of the other graphical settings as well. I doubt you could play 4K resolution with texture quality on extra, and, you know, be getting 60 FPS, you, you just... It's just not possible. They've really half-assed 4K resolution for um, PCs at the moment, but you know, everybody's after it. Like I think Batman, the latest Batman, that was actually um, a 4K resolution viable as well. Um, but what is the purpose to this at the moment? Like you can't play 4K on your TV so say you get your PlayStation connected to your brand new 4K TV which I think they're around about 5 grand or it only just plays 1080p so you're going to have extremely large pixels just upscale as all of this it's going to look dodgy as fuck and the reason that um, quality is not is not a main thing on console is because you sit further away from the screen so you can't take as notice whereas PC you're sitting you know 30 to 50 centimeters away from your screen so you can take notice of every single detail that well that's their argument at least but you know you can tell the difference I'm, I'm just saying what is the purpose of them pushing 4k resolution at the moment like there's no market for it but anyway guys I've been trays and I'm out this gameplay is winding over one last thing I want to touch on is I'm probably going to take a break from YouTube or just quit altogether. I'm not too sure yet. I, I'm just not feeling it anymore. Anyway, guys, I'm out. See ya.